<laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Wait, they keep it upstairs away from her because they don't want her to have it? Should Is that something we should be giving her? And I would love to dawdle, but I don't want to really... Put Chloe in more pain than she is already, but let's dawdle a little bit. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Holy sh- oh my god. $9,000. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Oh, the hell, Victoria. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Oh, <laughs> Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. <laughs> God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we learned some information about Paris. Guess we can use that with William. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV. And they use her shitty tube television. Oh, they really love her. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. So I didn't draw on here. Just shoot me now. Probably calculating the bills, but yeah, I didn't draw on here last time because I didn't notice it. What the hell's going on here? Is that like a pig, a cow, and a forest of fire? What's going on? <sighs> okay, let's uh. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Arcadia Bay Beacon. Beached angels looking for the whales. Whereas the shores of the Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given to the given the local scope of the eco mystery. What? The Prescotts are good people? Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. If Rachel is still missing, does that kind of imply that the Prescotts are not associated with her going missing? Because they're completely different now, it seems like. Search for popular teen continues. Blackwell honor student Rachel Amber has not been seen for over six months. Yet her family and friends have only intensified the search for an 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. Police and FBI have few leads and little information in the case, which has caught the interest of national reality show Where Did They Go? The Amber family has offered a reward for any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. 
For more details, please contact help at find blah 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 blah. Huh. It's interesting that she's been missing for half a year already, and she's still got this huge page in the newspaper. That might mean that they really care. Unlike last time. Seems like Rachel's parents or like Rachel's friends, nobody gave a crap. Mm. Uh, hello, William. Good morning. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> Of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Holy, William's eyebrow game, man. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. It isn't. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? Ha. No? Ha. Ha. Wow, that was, that was grade A dad joke. Being around you and Joyce again is... So... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. It makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Hmm... What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might... lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. I should probably get back to Chloe. ASAP. But, but exploration! Oh, we can go outside. Holy crap. What? The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. There are still dead birds. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too. So, constants between the two worlds, Rachel Amber going missing, and weather anomalies. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty, but you passed on before I changed this reality. Aww. So they put the board over here now. Last time it was over there, I think.
Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. Oh, man. The swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. I'm just more like, hey, Max, what the hell, man? Get me my morphine already. Okay, okay, we should probably get a move on. I definitely have to take a third job. Holy crap. Choices of food coupon, boss. You gotta be when you want to save. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. The house looks relatively similar on the inside, though. Even down to the phone. The photos. Hmm. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Why do you think they need one? They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Holy crap. That's another $3,000 here. Federal cuts. Oh. oh, health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. Oh my god. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Hmm. <laughs> um. Joyce isn't home, right? She's probably at work. Wait, she's right here! Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Wait, why are my subtitles off? That's weird. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Arcadia Bay Spinal Center, dear Mr. and Mrs. Price. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Oh my god. Okay. That's one point for me wanting the old Chloe back. If she's gonna die... Oh, that's like trading her and William... Oh my god. <sighs> Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. So I think we weren't here when it happened. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. <laughs> He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. That sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Shit, that's one point for not wanting to go back to our original place. Joyce wants William. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Hmm, interesting. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Whales. 
Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. <laughs> Does she know that we're buddy-buddy? So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Oh my god, I don't think I would be able to handle Chloe dying. <sighs> Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Stress. Joyce is already a super mom. Hmm. Is this a drawing? Like, did Chloe do that? Loans. That's exactly what the, the prices need right about now. Oh my god, yeah, loans are it's very good scary things. stay in touch with her friends. I'm so sorry to have walked out on you while you were saying that, Joyce. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Holy, those textures look like ass. Let me check my video settings. What the hell? Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Everything is all messed up. Okay, let's try that. It's all about you, Arcadia Okay, that looks Bay, a little better. Isn't it? Wow, good thing I noticed it. Okay, I guess I guess the morphine stuff should be in here. Ah, oh, not so mad Max anymore, huh? Hmm. Surprisingly enough, not here. Or maybe it's just because I didn't turn the lights on yet. Ah, okay. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Hmm. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. <sighs> this first time for everything. How's it going, time tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Do you? <laughs> or is it the stress too? She probably fell asleep when they were watching the movies earlier because they were so stressed. You know, being someone who sleeps not that much, it's very, very easy to fall asleep when you have darkness in the room for like 10 minutes. Just fall asleep right away. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Whose room is this now? Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god. So this this was Chloe's room. Yeah. This stuff is still here? And it's not crossed out. Remember before it was like, fuck my life. I hate you, dad, or something like that. I guess we stopped growing up together. Is Max at the bottom? No. Oh my god, they measured Chloe when she was two months old, really? Dang, wish I kept that kind of record for myself. Wait, so does this mean that- Okay, seems like they consistently had markings up until 2005. But there's no way Chloe had her accident in 2005, right? That seems a little bit too early. Hmm. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Hey, maybe this is why she took that photo we took in the bathroom. She likes butterflies or something. Look at this room, it's so clean and no Illuminati's. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Max isn't panicking at all. She's not like, oh my god, how do I get back to the original place? She's just taking this all in and, and accepting it. I never heard much about William's brother. Oh, Aaron. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. Wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know, this you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Well, at least they have nice family members that are willing to help out. A lot of people would bail out when they need you the most, so... But it's still tough, the bills. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. <laughs> Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Well, what are you waiting for, Supermax? Clothes. Crutches. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Again, we don't know the extent of her injuries, but oh, if she could walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Oops. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater in my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. It's kind of a humiliating thing too, to have to ask your family members for money. Losing... Pride and dignity, but of course your daughter's health and well-being is much more important than those things. Wonder what this place is now. It's just the garage, I guess. Wonder if they ever got rid of the car. Now everyone seems to still I hate the press gods. I wonder if I read this incorrectly the first time around. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Yeah, it says the Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds, but guess they're still hated around here. They just vowed. They didn't actually give anything yet. I don't think we've missed anything. Who is that? <laughs> Oh, trophies. Okay, I think we've dawdled long enough. Probably time to give Chloe her medicine. Sorry for taking so long, buddy. 